Good morning. I'm Rahel Solomon with your morning digital news brief for Wednesday, March 28th. Cindy Mann will be principal of Wilmington's Padua Academy once again. She was fired two weeks ago for what sources say was insubordination. Students and parents have been protesting since then, demanding she be hired again. In a statement, she said this could not have happened without the students' and parents' tireless efforts and prayers. The owner of a North Philadelphia property where three people were killed in a fire is facing federal charges in California. Tyrone Duran is the owner of Granite Hill Properties. He's accused of laundering money through his properties. One of those properties was the home on the 1800 block of North 21st Street. It was destroyed by a fire last week. Firefighters found three people dead inside the home almost three days later. A Center County judge is deciding whether to reinstate charges in the death of a Penn State pledge. He has to decide which charges against former members of the Beta Theta Pi fraternity should be sent to county court for trial. 19-year-old Timothy Piazza died after a night of heavy drinking at the Beta Theta Pi fraternity house in 2017. Now let's check in with meteorologist Katie Failinger. Katie, we're expecting some showers, but a nice little warm-up, too. Yeah, definitely. There's a trade-off that will usually come with this kind of a pattern change, but we do have a warm and a cold front passage expected to take place here for the next couple of days, and that's where the warmth is going to come from, but it's also the reason we've got wet weather, obviously. So here's a look at the warm front lifting in here today, and that's what's going to help bring about some showers, but then comes a cold front especially Thursday into Friday. And uh, along that front comes an area of low pressure riding in along it. So what you end up with here is the best chance at that point for some steadier rain, bulk of which is likely to bypass us to the north. But still, we do have wet weather in the forecast. So I wouldn't call it a washout, but you are certainly going to have to Thursday as well as Friday contend with additional wet weather. At least it's warm by then. As today progresses, our daytime high hits about 55 degrees. Again, watch for a shower, but it is starting to warm up out there as we drop to only 46 through the overnight, not too bad. And the next few days are even milder, mid 60s, both Thursday and Friday. Easter weekend, a little cooler, granted, but looking pretty good. I don't want to totally rule out a shower on Easter Sunday, but generally speaking, here, well, it is looking like a very pleasant upcoming holiday weekend. Pleasant will be a nice change, Katie. Thank you. And remember, you can always get Katie's most up to date forecasts and the latest stories right here on CBSPhilly.com. That's the latest for the morning digital brief. I'm Rahel Solomon. Good morning.